Hi, this is part two of the toaster project. Uh, previous to the other video, two days after I was uh, utilizing it to cook my breakfast, the filament uh, burnt out. I could be forgiven for the fact that the filament was a hundred years old, um, may not have been used for the last 50 years. So what we're going to do is completely take out the filaments and replace them with modern ones. You can buy nickel cadmium wire online, but it's quite expensive. So the next best thing is to buy a cheaper toaster from the charity shop, cost four pounds, and take out the innards from that. So we're going to just take this apart. Unfortunately, there are star screws in here, so we're just going to have to use some brute force. Now we have the innards exposed. It's just a matter of bending back the holding clips and putting out these cards which hold the filaments. Now as for taking the antique part, there are only three screws on this. One at the side here and two on the electrical input points. extremely long screw the wash on the end so this completely comes out and that is all that is holding the filament in directly to the mains next on the side of the filament cards we have these simple bent holders here so we'll bend those back plus bend the holders here so this panel will come off and we can extract the cards. And now we can slide the filament cards out. Now if we just unwind whole of this wire off the cards, remembering exactly how it is woven together. So there's all the filament wire off, I would assume it's about two meters there. We may as well keep it because you never know. Now we're going to unwind the wire from the new boards and as we have three separate pieces we're going to have to join them up just by twisting them together which is cheating but I'm not welding that. So now we want to get the new filament wrapped around the cards so these are laid out corresponding to how it was taken out. So the input is that end and that end. If needs be, I can, you can re-watch your videos to see if it's wound up correctly. The connector must be between the two cards here. So if we start at the finish and go from there. We're leaving enough cord to reach the pins. Now the wire is quite strong but uh, it could break so make sure that your wire is tight against the board with no kinks. Bend it into shape on each turn. So after a couple of tries, we've finished this part, we've hooked another wire here, now this has to go through the hole here, and again on in the hole of the second one, and wound around that. Now for the third card, again the wire goes through the hole here, is wrapped round to the end, 
and then jumps to the bottom one and we have an extra piece of wire left for the mains. Right, we've been faffing about and reconfiguring this for a while and I've come up what I think works best. I put the filament round every other notch here and I've wired it exactly how it was in the beginning. So let's put the thing back together. Now we have to get the completed cards back in the case. So each card has to have the its edge connector sticking out about in the middle of each slot. And we've got to bend them over carefully. Now the cards are on. We can fit the end filaments to the terminal. So we've just got to get the end of the wire, pass it through the hole there. And the other side, the same in this hole here. Now we can fit the other side panel back on, attaching it to the pins at the top on the bottom and then bending them over. And also the card pins have to go through the slots here also. And make sure the swinger connector points towards the swinger connector here. So like so. Now we have to get the card edges fitted. They do bend. I have noticed that the edges of the card have to protrude through slightly by half a centimeter each side for it to fit. Now we can bend back the card holders. Now we have to carefully check through to see that none of the wires uh, touching each other or the casing. Might need to take it apart again. See there's a bit of a mess here so we're going to clean this up. And I'm quite happy that none of the wires are touching each other or the casing and where the wires join I've made them smaller and sort of crimped them together. Now we can put the top and bottom back together and make sure that the slider is slotted in the notch here. The springs on the end of the sliders are fitted round into the casing. Next we want to connect the wires to the terminals. We want the wire to be between the U-plate here and the screw and bolt. We fit the square plate on top in a sandwich and then screw them in. Then before you screw it tight, pass a wire between the two plates and then tighten it fully and remove this excess wire on the bottom and do the same for the other side. I'm going to fit the bottom plate but I think it needs a bit of a clean first. And then we place the top on between these and then reinsert the screw through the hole at the top. And there we are, one repaired and restored toaster Mark II. We just want to check over the filaments and make sure nothing's touching. Uh, we can go for a test. Right, plug in. I've just put some insulating tape on there. Proper insulating tape. Okay, test one. Just going to plug it straight into the mains and run away. Uh huh. Something went wrong there. Right, that completely knocked the mains out. Um, so I had a look back at the video where I took the device apart and I found that I've put the wires through the wrong holes. Terminal wires here shouldn't be through that hole. They should be through this bigger hole to the side. So that caused a short circuit. We're going to have to take part of it apart again. Right, we've uh, rechecked everything. Put the wires through the right hole. So now there's nothing to stop this working correctly. 
apart from maybe a damaged fuse. So test two. And nothing, no heat. I'm not getting shocked. I'm gonna change the fuse on that. Okay, we have a new fuse put on. Let's go for test three. Ooh, now that is bright. I don't think <laughs> we, uh, what is working, but I think my toast would be burnt to a crisp. Not sure what to think of that. That is definitely an improvement. We will now put some toast in it. Okay, let's go for test four. We're just gonna shove some toast in. Doing what a toast is supposed to do. Which is burn the toast. I think we need to be a little bit quicker. It's a little fast, but it does the job, doesn't it? Project complete.